My name is Lauren Bellos, and I'm a rising senior at the University of Michigan. I study information analysis in the School of Information, and Noah and myself brought the Riley's Way chapter to the University of Michigan. I'm Noah Weber, also a rising senior, um, studying sociology and entrepreneurship, and same thing that, uh, that Lauren said, but, um, you know, kind of brought this chapter together to pilot what it would look like here. Something that I've noticed from my time at school that maybe was listen missing in some people's leadership styles was what's at Riley's Way core, which is kindness and empathy. And that's something that we really wanted to stress to the people that are were in our community and just like spread out those messages as far as we could. The Riley's Way work definitely speaks for itself, but um, getting back to those values and kind of how they can transform people and programs and just communities is really impactful. And that's something we definitely wanted to bring to Michigan. We listened. I know Lauren and I came together initially after Ian spoke during one of our classes actually um and it was obviously just the most you know inspiring and touching story that i felt um, and both of us had mutual feelings that this needed a place on michigan's campus but last year we split our organization based on like different groups or different you know skills or teams um like we had a marketing and a social media and, uh, you know, like a planning team. Um, and so we had people rank what they wanted and we assigned different teams and they would meet with these teams and that's, they would, we would assign them like different projects and these teams would tackle them based on like their team that they were in. So last year, obviously, uh, we were getting our legs under ourselves in terms of getting the name of Riley's Way, you know, out there on a campus, especially like Michigan. Um, so it took a lot of like marketing um, in terms of getting the club to be official and have members and running. Um, but then from there, we opted for a pitch competition to highlight uh different leaders on campus that were doing great things. And so we ended up um, selecting a winner and then highlighting their project, which um, we think is now a sustainable and measurable way to grow the club going forward is highlighting different, um, different projects and different people that are doing, doing great things. especially for the college chapter. I don't think I even knew what a pitch competition was before coming to college. So for reference, it's just like for whoever's gonna be watching this, it's when you bring together different people to try to sell you their idea and then like you select a winner and um, however you wanna go about then dealing with that winner. For us, it was giving them more support, um, but we thought that was something that would be good to do on a college campus because it's very entrepreneurial. People like the idea of you know, coming and trying to sell their their ideas and, and pitch their ideas it definitely was um like an idea that you know we really were able to make it come to life we had a lot of different you know visions for what this would look like and we ultimately landed on the pitch competition as a team and we worked with one another to market it and really flesh out questions that we would be asking, you know, leaders in our community on our campus. So we sent out an application and like I said, marketed and really spread that Riley's Way brand. And with that, people came to us and applied to pitch their ideas that um, embody the Riley's Way values to our chapter. So we had a bunch of great participants. Everyone had amazing projects and just really big aspirations, which was super exciting for us to see. Um, and yeah, we had a great outcome with what came from that picture. Yeah, the outcomes were awesome. We were only able to 
a lot our resources or our club members for the first year to one project, which ended up being something called the Human Network. Um, but we were just super excited to have a bunch of different ideas come out of it. I see us growing a lot because we're going to continue to highlight um, these different people and their initiatives. So we are going to be allocating our resources towards them and hopefully helping them grow their own initiatives. And with that, growing our club and our presence. Um, beyond helping as many people as we can on campus and kind of in our Ann Arbor community, something that Noah and I were just discussing and that we're hoping to lean a little bit more into is tapping into the Riley's Way alumni and vast network of really incredible, intelligent individuals. And we are hoping to inspire that kind of energy they have, whether it's being an entrepreneur or just leading with kindness and empathy into our students on campus. Um, I don't know if I can give a few words, but one word that I definitely think has come out of this is I've made a lot of friendships and just really strong relationships. I mean, Noah and I were even friends before this started, but I think our bond has grown closer as well as the rest of the people that are involved in our chapter. And kind of just beyond that, I've been able to meet so many incredible people um, through all the programs that Riley's Way runs. And I think a big part of this has been just gaining lots of relationships for me. Yeah. Echoing that almost, I think on a college campus, I'm not good at like shortening things. It might sound cliche, but um, I think we put together this community of, of kind people and of kindness. And I think on a college campus, like everyone is just, you know, a hundred percent all the time. It's a lot of go, go, go. And everyone's doing their own thing. Um, and just even in different clubs, like everything is, you know, you're working super hard, um, but it was nice. It felt like when we had our meetings, like everyone almost took a deep breath and it was um, just a space for people uh, to just enjoy and everyone get behind this idea. Um, and everyone was, you're, if you were, you know, buying into this, you were someone that was looking for, for a kind community and it was refreshing to be able to, honestly walk into those meetings a lot of the days and people just honestly smiling uh so it was uh it was a breath of, of fresh air in terms of the community that we created that you know is unique compared to some of the other organizations that uh that i've been involved with yeah Riley's Way Michigan.